guys, you're welcome back. Thanks for clicking. Now, Dr. Nayak, since you were... Can we have your name, please? Yeah, I am Clearly. Chirag. And please don't ask my religion. Dr. Nayak, since you were born, maybe in a Muslim family, you were prescribed with your religion. Now, that is why today you are endorsing it, maybe. If you would have been born in a Hindu family, it could have been possible that today this religion would have been on Hinduism. This, I feel, is an extreme case of ethnocentrism, wherein you feel your religion, culture, beliefs and ideas are supreme. That is why you said that Sikhism or Arya Samaj or whatever religion that abandons idol worship is supported by you too. According to me, we should be discussing a larger religion of humanity and not keep juggling here. Any comments or oh, justification, sir? Very good question. Yes. Brother, I agree with you. Till the age of 19, I was a Muslim only because my father was a Muslim. After the age of 19, when I started studying about comparative religion, now I am a Muslim by choice. And believe me, if you can point out any other religion to me better than Islam, I am ready to accept that religion today. Sir, I am endorsing the religion of humanity. Brother, I'll come to it. Yeah. I'll come to it. Yeah. You are talking about humanity. Who wrote this religion, humanity? Mahatma Gandhi? Who wrote it? You know, a Muslim cannot be a good Muslim unless he's a good human being. That no. every religion says, every brother, religion says. Brother, let me complete my answer. Yes, sir. Are you here to hear my answer or are you here to give your views? I would like to have a healthy discussion and reach Brother, to a logical conclusion. This is not a debate session. Not at all. I never said. So listen to my answer. After my answer, you can give your comment. Okay, please. Let me finish my answer. Keep on interjecting. That means you listen to my answer. Carry on. Listen carefully. Yeah. Something is going, Mahabharat is going in your mind. How will you listen? When please you carry on. When you read out your question, did I interrupt? Please carry on. Did I interrupt? You, you did not. Please okay. carry on. Everything writing down, coming, asking question. I now said, I'm, I'm giving yeah. the reply. Listen, this yeah, is my reply. I'm listening. So why are you commenting? Please carry on, sir. Please justify. Tell me your answer. If you listen to my answer, you'll understand. Otherwise, all this more than 100,000 people will understand, yet you'll have the same question. I'm a medical doctor. A person can't concentrate on two different things. Yes. Listen to the answer. After the answer is over, no problem. So what you have to realize, you're talking about humanity. First you said, don't ask my religion. Then you are saying, I am endorsing humanity. First of all, you are ashamed to identify your view. Then you are talking about humanity. I am asking the question, who wrote this book called humanity? Is there any book? Is there any guidelines of humanity? I am telling you, a Muslim cannot be a Muslim until he is a good human being. Every religion doesn't say that. I am sorry to say that. You have not studied the other religions. I can give a talk. I can give you quotations from the Vedas, quotations from Hindu scriptures, quotations from the Bible, which goes against humanity. I am not here to criticize any religion. If you have not studied any religion, please don't say anything which you have no knowledge of. Quran says, Fas'alu al zikri in kuntum la ta'alamun. Surah Nahal chapter 16 verse 43, Surah Ambiya chapter 21 verse number 7. You are not a student of comparative religion. So please don't make comments without knowing. I can give you quotations from the Bible against humanity. I challenge you to point out a single verse of the Quran, a single teaching of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which is against humanity. So don't tell me every religion says that. Sorry, your knowledge is very weak. What I'm trying to tell you, humanity means, okay, you're in standard two. I'm talking about not only passing school, not only graduation, you have to become postgraduate. Islam means higher level. Only humanity is low level. No Muslim can be a good Muslim unless He's a good human. I challenge you to point out a single teaching of Islam which is against humanity. You may not be knowing the logical background, the logical reason why Islam has prescribed that teaching and you may think it is against humanity. Like I would say, oh, doctor is giving me injection, it is poking me. But that injection is good for you. No, doctor is cutting up my tummy. He's cutting up my tummy to save your life. So doctor knows, you don't know. If I have two choices, okay, passing standard two or three or doing post-graduation. I would prefer post-graduation. My only standard two and three. Humanity is good. But Islam is far superior than that. Regarding your question, I am endorsing Islam because I was born in a Muslim family. 
I told you, I challenge you, if anyone proves to me any other religion, I've studied most of the major religions and I think Islam is the most logical, the best religion for humanity. It is the only religion which has the solution for humanity. Allah says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, in the deena in the layal Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is Islam. And for your information, your argument is so weak. Do you know out of more than 30 scholars that we have from different parts of the world, more than 10, they were not born in a Muslim family. Do you know that? I'd like you to answer this question. Do you know that out of 30 people speaking from the stage, more than 10, they were not born Muslim. Do you know that? Sir, I attached maybe. I'm that asking maybe. you a question. Do you know that? No, yes I don't or no? know that. So that means the whole argument falls down. Out of the 30 people speaking from different parts of the world, more than 10 are from America, 4 are from Canada, few are from UK, we are from Malaysia, we have a couple from Saudi Arabia, from UAE, from Somalia, from Sudan, and more than 10, they were born in non-Muslim families. They grew up. Some accepted Islam in the teenage, some accepted Islam in the 20s, some in 30s, and Allah gave them hidayah. They are Muslims by choice. So your logic that because we are born in Muslim family, therefore I'm endorsing. These people weren't born in Muslim family. They were born in Christian family. They were born in non-Muslim family. Yet they're endorsing Islam. Why? Because they have studied. They have studied other religions and they found Islam is the best way of life. What I request you, you study humanity and study Islam. And try and find out what point in Islam is against humanity. Then you'll come to know that the best religion, I'm not asking a religion, I'm asking you to accept the best religion. And the best way of life, the only solution for humanity is Islam. Wow, that was beautiful. So his question was all about humanity. Well, like Zakhna like said, Islam talks about humanity. There are some religions too that talks about humanity, but I think Islam shows more of humanitarian services than other religions i think so and the, the man was so aggressive i don't know you want to ask a question and they said that they are telling us don't ask me my religion and at the end of the day we got to know your religion through the question and the reason why he likes to talk about islam is because that is his religion he knows a lot about his religion he believes in it he knows the god is serving so that's why he keep preaching about his religion that's why I said he was born as a Muslim and he, even though you are born as a Muslim or you are born into a particular religion, it's not left for the person to say, oh, I want to stick to this religion forever or I want to switch. It's by choice, like the way he said it. So, all these things that he's saying in my interior, said, this question was not like me. I, I, what was it, the man expecting? Him asking that, why is that? Is that I like to talk about Islam is that is is normal. It's a normal thing. It's just imagine, like I don't know where the aggression was coming from. Maybe it was like nice said some words that actually put him off, and it was incajeting. Please stop. I'm listening. Please. Why? You want to listen? You will listen. But that was a beautiful one for Zach and I really enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.